Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean Ray and today we're going to be talking about one of my most asked questions from you to me and it's typically on my Instagram DMs but that is if I was getting started off and I have a good job, I have good credit and I want to buy my first house, what should I do? Knowing what I know now, if I was in your position, what would I do? Well, hopefully this video is going to answer all those questions and before I get into it, make sure to do the old like and subscribe. YouTube doesn't know that you like my stuff, so make sure you tell them. If you're new to this channel and this is the first video because YouTube recommended this to you, well, this is why you should listen to me and who I am. I've become a millionaire over just four properties. Those four properties net me over 35, they don't net me, they gross me over $35,000 or so a month in revenue on Airbnb. And then with that, I'm able to do this, help you guys out for free. I don't have any courses and I won't ever have courses. I might write a book though, keep that in mind. Um, but it's just to help people out and try to success, successfully retire young. Um, I also am a real estate agent. I try to help people here in town. And so this video is going to be highlighting one of the Airbnb properties that we just put offers on this weekend. This is a legit video happening right now. This home that I'm going to be talking to you about is on the market right now. As the moment that I'm recording this, it has not gone under the contract yet. Hopefully we'll get under contract tonight, but that's why I'm not worried about it because I'll probably post this tomorrow. Therefore we'll be under contract. Don't give me competition, but this is a brand new Airbnb investor. He's, his name's Ali. He was, a, he was actually uh, someone that watched the channel, like you. You're watching this right now, so there's hope for you. Don't give up. He was watching my YouTube channel just like this, and he's like, I want to get started. Sean, what's the best property to get started on? I got a good job, and I got approved. Let's go. And so I recommend him this house. And the reason why I recommended them this house is that when you're first getting started off, you don't want to go for the big swing for the fence. You don't want to give it, give everything you have way over what you got approved for and you're trying to get $15,000 a month. There was a person I was recently working for, working with, and they wanted to find a house at first $8,000 a month. And they heard the stories of 10, then 12, then 15, and they took three months to get a house um, that was always escalating in the amount that they want, but it was also escalating the price. And it got up to the point where it was six fifty, seven hundred thousand. 700,000, they just couldn't afford it and they got burnt out and then something happened in their life and they couldn't buy anymore. Don't be that person. Find a house that is in the $400,000 range that you could do right now that preferably is five bedrooms. So this house has five bedrooms. It's in a very popular area of Dallas. It's in West Dallas where we have a lot of our other Airbnbs, so it's a proven safe market. They're not having to try a brand new market. It's not, hey, I want to get an Airbnb, but I'm broke, and so I have to go to this crazy ass market in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully it works. No, we found a house, five bedrooms, so it's going to be successful, that is in an area that we already know is low risk. And it's close to downtown, and it's close to a lot of development that's going up, and it's a pretty new build. It's not brand new, like 2022 new build, but it's, it's a couple years old. And so this property, if you were to rent it as it is right now, just rent it alone, could be around $3,000 a month. And so if you're trying to purchase a property that can already, as soon as you purchase it, your mortgage and everything you hold, you can already rent it out for a profit, then that's a hell of a deal. So worse comes worse, if it doesn't hit our goal of $8,000 a month on Airbnb, then he's still able to rent it out and it's not a loss. So either way, he's got a great backup plan. He could become very successful, a little successful, or just sell it, who cares, in a couple years, and then you're still successful. So there's very little room for Ali to screw up on this house. Plus, we did the cash on cash returns, and he's at over 65% cash on cash return on this after you factor in all the kind of closing costs, down payments, uh, if he does the 5% down, and he does a backyard renovation for $15,000. Even at that, he still is at the 65% range, and that's amazing. Our goal for 5% down is 50, 45 to 50, and so he's killing it, way over our expectational marks. So the point in this video is, is to show you that you, the person watching this, you've watched maybe the first video that you've seen of this topic is me right now talking to you, but probably not. You've probably watched many, many videos from me, Sean Rockajic, maybe Rob Bilt, and all the other people out there on YouTube that I hear about all the time. I watch the videos, I'm not very impressed. 
How many videos have you watched and how many videos will you watch until you take action? This is a actual person that was you watching a video he liked and subscribed. Maybe that was the key. Maybe that's why he's becoming successful because he liked to subscribe. I don't know, maybe you should try it. But he reached out to me and now he's putting an offer on the house and this house is a killer house. What is holding you back? Stop watching videos. Talk to a lender. If you don't have one, ask for me. Uh, ask me for my lender. His name's Derek. And then I'll send him to you. Get approved and start taking actions. We're about to have all of our rates increase. So the days of you getting a 3% down loan, a 5%, or I'm sorry, 3% uh, 3 APR, 3% APR loan um, with, at a, on a 5% down loan. That's very difficult if you guys followed that. Hopefully you did. Those days are over. 4% uh, is very lucky if you can, but those days are almost over already as well. So you better jump on this while you can until you get stuck at a 5% down loan and what you could be approved for today at 410,000, which is what you should be going for right now, in a month or two, that 400,000 that, 400, that you could be approved for today is now gonna be 375, 325, and so you just might have lost your opportunity. This is your last chance. This is your last chance. If you don't take it, you might be out forever. We're about to be a renter nation. Homes are about to be out of control price-wise, and now they're about to even be harder to get approved for the price that they're already at. Take action now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, by the way, for those of you that like Mr. Rakajic, we're planning, he's about to rip me up uh, on his channel. I think maybe we can do a little collaboration on this channel too, but he's about to go through all my Airbnb listings and tell me why they all suck and how they can all be way more, way more uh, profitable. I am good at this, but he is great at this. If you guys are watching my videos, they should be in collaboration with his. He's very high level, he's, he's like a mad scientist. And so I could be the motivation and he could be the brainiac. Look forward to that video, hopefully you guys watch that. And in the meantime, Peace.